What's going on everybody? Cooper the reseller coming at you from Omaha, Nebraska. And today I want to show you my favorite way to ship jeans. And as far as I know, this is the cheapest way to ship jeans. So let me go ahead and show you what I do right now. I actually use this legal flat rate envelope that you can order online for free from the USPS post office. And I use the one that is 15 inches by nine and a half inches. There is a smaller version of this that is about yay bigger or so. It's like 10 inches long. So I recommend getting the 15 inch one. I think if you go into the stores, it's the smaller one. That's about yay big, which can work on some jeans. But as you can see, it's tight. So this 15 inch definitely gives you some room to work with here. And one of these on eBay will ship for $6.94 as of right now. And if you're off of eBay, I believe it's $7.15, which is hard to beat. Otherwise, you could use, if jeans don't fit in this, you can use a padded flat rate envelope and you add on about 50 cents or so. So let me show you. I also want to show a, a little trick that I use to make the jeans fit in here easier. So I'm going to go ahead and set my camera up. get it to focus down here maybe there we go thank you for your patience <laughs> all right <clears throat> so what I like to do is it starts off flat I like to create a crease in here because it makes it a lot easier to fold it over and tape it down just to lock the jeans in better otherwise if you do it flat like this it doesn't work as well and you might rip it so i start by doing this i flip it over like this usually like right here on the red on the white part you'll find the red part and then the white part here it kind of naturally folds right here where this part is so i bring it over fold it down like that and then what happens is you have this crease to work with and then you also have this crease to work with and that helps out a lot. And what I do is I take my jeans here, I'm actually going to grab a thank you card, put it in there. And what I do is I got this tape, scotch tape. I tape it closed. I recommend using a, a baggie to put the jeans in because these envelopes could end up ripping on you and you want the jeans to be protected by something so this will give it more protection and it's easier to slide in there as well so we're going to go ahead and slide that on in just like so try to get it as flat as possible and then this is the tricky part getting this thing closed what i like to do this, these jeans are kind of thick, so it's a little bit harder than normal. And I also usually use the edge of a table. But what I do is I put one hand like this, peel this off, put my other hand and arm under it, and then just fold it over like that as flat as possible. It's easier to do it on the edge of a table, but for the video, let's see if I can do it right here. Just like that. As you can see, that closes up pretty dang well. But then, these are fragile, so I like to get my thick tape. That's uh, three inches long, I believe. Let's see. Other tape gun. It's definitely a lot thicker than the standard tape, and it just helps it stay closed. As you can see, twice as thick, I think. And I do one of these strips all the way across the top here. Just like that. And then for added support, these corners are kind of flimsy. Kind of sketches me out a little bit. So I just take my scotch tape here and I just buy these rolls usually from the dollar store or you can get them on Amazon pretty cheap too. Put that right there. Put 
this one right here. <laughs> I bent that one up a bit. That one right there. And then you should be good to go. Sometimes you gotta check to make sure some tape might be sticking out here and here. Usually I just take a pair of scissors and cut this right here and then press it down just to make it super flat. But that is how I package and ship jeans. It's the cheapest way that I know of. It's pretty easy to get used to it. I've never had any customer complaints about it or anything like that. They always usually arrive in good condition. I never had any complaints of it breaking or anything like that. So definitely recommend giving it a try. Order your supplies on USPS.com. It's always awesome having free supplies and save some money on shipping. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If this video brought you any value, smash the like button and subscribe if you want to see more reselling related content. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.